Hello, Whiskey Pals. How are you tonight? This is the 28th of December. I'm a little bit later tonight, but I'm on. It's the 28th night in a row that I've tasted a dram live on Tintinet. I've been really enjoying December. If you remember, I worked my way through all my whiskey selection box. And now I'm just going to finish off December with a few of my favourite drams. And tonight, I said last night that I was going to try one of my Glen Murrays. Now, Glen Murray, I have a little bit of a soft spot for Glen Murray. I was um, born a mile away from the distillery just at Mary Hill, just uh, on the outskirts of Elgin there. Born and brought up in Avis, which is close to Elgin. Um, knew the previous manager really well. If you um, know your whiskey, know your... Um, uh, if you're in the whiskey industry, you'll have heard of Graham Cool. So I was a friend of Graham's at school. We went to the same school, Forest Academy. We also worked uh, together in the local petrol station, in the local shop. And myself and Graham had some great times there. Supposed to be working, but just having a fantastic time. So I know Graham well. And when Graham was a manager, he was really good to me. He let me take photos there, let me film there uh, with Edinburgh Whiskey Academy. And he was always good for a sample or two when I was doing my lectures and doing my courses. So this is my Glen Murray shelf. Got loads of Glen Murrays. Some of my favorites is the, the 10 year old Chardonnay cask, not the finish, but the complete 10 years in a Chardonnay cask. I've got some of the tins, you know, the 12 year old. Uh, <laughs> my least favorite tin, because I didn't do the tartan bit, but um, I quite like this. I've got a Glen Murray 16 year old in the Highlanders tin. Got some distillery additions as well. Got a Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. You can all you kind of beat a number 35 if you go to the society. Great drums. And my recent most recent purchase was this Chardonnay cask. You can't really see on there. It's a 2003 bottled this year, so 17 year old. So I'm really looking forward to trying that at a later date. But the dram I'm going to taste tonight is a really special dram. It's, well, special for me. It's the first dram that has actually got my name on the label. Now, you, you can't really see this with the, the way the light is. Let me go and switch off the light, see if that makes a difference. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. Well, you can see it a little bit there. Um, this bottle is an 11-year-old Glen Murray. Got my signature on it, chosen by me. And this is for sale in the Singapore market. I've got some partners over in Singapore that asked me to sample some casks and recommend some whiskies, And then they were going to bottle them and sell them over in Singapore. So we've got a couple out in Singapore at the moment. There's that Glen Murray. There's another one. Again, you can't really see that bottle, can you? You can't really see the label. I'll take some pictures. That's uh, an eight-year-old knock too. But this is one that I'm really chuffed about because I love my Glen Murray. Born a mile away from the distillery. Really got on well with Graham when he was a the manager there. Graham's now the manager over at Ding uh, Dingwall, over at Dingle. And this was one of the samples that I chose, an 11-year-old Glen Murray, non-chill filter, natural colour, single cask as well. And it's a rather special little whiskey. And I'm really chuffed to have my name on a bottle of whiskey. But you can only get it in Singapore. So let's have a nose. Or a nose. Let's have a look at the colour first. Really light. Now, that's because it's a first filled bourbon cask. 11 years in a bourbon cask, you're not going to get an awful lot of colour. But you're going to get a big nose and a big taste. So, 
Oh, that's really fresh and fruity. It's grassy. It's like a, it's like a vanilla custard. It's so sweet. There's apples in there. There's pears as well. Fresh fruit. There's a bit of tropical fruit in there, and maybe a touch of sort of lemon citrus. Like I think. But it smells gorgeous. So let's have a taste. I haven't opened my bottle. I've got a bottle. The bottle that I got has got my name on it saying bottled for Vic Camera. So I don't really want to open it. But I had a wee drop of the sample left. So I thought I'd taste that tonight. So. Mmm. Oh, that is so fruity. And oodles of vanilla. Very sweet. Sort of custardy. It's kind of like creme brulee, you know, that kind of taste. There's peaches in there. There's pears as well. Lots of products come through from the Glen Murray fermentation. It is very typical, this, of a first fill bourbon um, Glen Murray. That's what I've got in my Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. And I've tasted a couple from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, 35s. And those first full barbers are, are really good. And this is just like the 12-year-old as well. It's very fresh. It's very fruity. Lots of vanilla. Lots of stuff coming through from the fermentation. And then that influence of the bourbon coming in, that vanilla. There's not, no wood on it at all. Lots coming through from the fermentation. The peaches, the pears, the fresh fruit. And of course, masses of vanilla coming from the, the wood. So let's have another taste. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yes, I really like that one. I mean, the whole idea of this project with my partner in Singapore was to pick really good whiskies at real decent prices. And that's the other thing about Glen Murray. The thing I love about Glen Murray is their pricing structure. You can get some fantastic whiskies for really good prices. So, and it's getting more and more popular. Mm. So there's my dram for tonight. An 11 year old first fill bourbon from Glen Murray heading off to Singapore. <clears throat> Very, very good dram. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to try tomorrow night. Anybody got any suggestions? Fire them to me. If you want me to pick a certain type of whiskey, I'll see if I've got it. Or a certain product, I'll see if I've got it. And maybe have a wee taste. Or I might try one or two of these samples up here. I'm really not sure. But I hope you enjoyed that one. I did. I do like my Glen Murrays. If you're a member of the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, get along and try some 35s. You, you just you cannot go wrong. So, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoy your... Oh, what day is it? 28th of December. Uh, I think it's... Is it Monday? I hope you've enjoyed your Monday. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I hope you enjoy your Tuesday tomorrow. Uh, three more to go. Is it? 29, 30, 31st. Yeah, three more drams to go. And I'll have had a dram every night in December. So I will see you tomorrow night, guys. Thanks for joining me again. Please leave your comments. Please leave any drams that you want me to have a bash at if I've got them. I'll have a look. And I will see you tomorrow night. So thanks for joining me. See you again tomorrow. Have a great sleep. Have a great day. And I will see you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye now.